Where have all the flowers gone? Now, here comes the question. Where will all the wind turbine blades go? Hello everyone, my name is Chen Han Chang. My mentor is Professor Ashwani Gupta. The title of my talk is Challenges in Managing Decommissioned Offshore Wind Turbine Blades Now and the Future. Offshore wind farms have been expanding, but rotor blades last for 20 years or so. So, at the end of their service, what should we do about them? Just throw them away? But, due to environmental concerns, more acts have come out to ban decommissioned blades from landfills. If the disposal of onshore wind turbine blades are running into problem now, imagine a problem with offshore wind turbine blades, which are much bigger. With a conventional linear model of economy that is produce, use, discard, the problem is discarding wind turbine blades causes pollution, and pollution leads to climate change. Now, a more environmentally friendly way is a circular economy, which uses the process of produce, use, and reuse to reduce waste. From this perspective, it is important to take stock of blades already or soon to be in, con in operation. So, this study investigates, first, what is the growing pattern of offshore capacity around the world? Second, what are the amounts, sizes, and materials of end-of-service rotor blades that are expected to come out in the near future? We used two online databases to get information about offshore wind farms and wind turbine blades. We classified the countries based on their offshore capacity in 2018 into three groups and analyzed their development from 1997 to 2018. In the above 3000 megawatts group, um, the UK as well as Germany and China have been building up its offshore capacity. In the, in the between 1,000 and 3,000 megawatts group, Belgium, Denmark, and Netherlands also have kept growing steadily. In the below 1,000 megawatts group, Sweden, Japan, Finland, Ireland, and Norway already have established a offshore wind farm before 2010. Other countries including Vietnam, Spain, South Korea, the USA, France, and Taiwan have also shown inc an increase over the years. As for large offshore wind farms um, uh, that have a capacity above 400 megawatts, their launch years ranged from 2012 to 2019. The main findings are offshore capacity is increasing rapidly. Large offshore wind farms will start decommissioning rotor blades as early as 2032. The average diameter of rotor blades are 128 meters. Now, 17 countries already have offshore wind farms in operation. 36 additional countries also have plans to build offshore wind farms. Therefore, more research is needed to identify regula regulatory or, or technological strategies useful for the safe handling of these wastes. Conclusion Offshore wind farms shows a fast growing pattern worldwide necessitating a rigorous measure to oversee the safe disposal of the composite materials in decommissioned blades. Here are the references. Thank you.